Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to talk about a very important celebration for Peruvian people. It's called La Fiesta de la Virgen de la Candelaria. The celebration is realized in Puno from January 24th to February 18th and it intends to be a festival to a deity, something that is apparently related to God, but really it is a worship to evil. Do you want to know why I'm saying that? Okay, I tell you. The Virgen de la Candelaria is a plaster sculpture kept in the Temple San Juan Bautista. Actually, it is called Santuario de la Virgen. It is an image, a simple image which the people pay tribute. They believe that this sculpture represents something divine, but God clearly tells us in the Bible about that. In his Ten Commandments in Exodus chapter 20, verse 4 and 5, you will not grave an image or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above or on the earth beneath or in the waters under the earth you shall not bow down to them or serve them i am jehovah thy god a jealous god visiting the iniquity of the parents upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me so, everything that happens in the celebration is against God's will. The people kneel before this image. They pay tribute. They make mace, thanking and asking for favors to it. They decorate it with flowers and they light candles. These people don't know how wrong has been. They began to worship this sculpture because of several legends that told about its appearances. The first one tell that Jose Gabriel Condorcaqui's team, a national hero, was surrounded by Tupac Qatari's team in Puno, and Condorcaqui, for defending the city, took out an image of the Virgin, and this caused hallucination in the indigenous, making them believe that there was a huge Spanish battalion in defense of the city in that place. In the same way, another story tells about a meaning event. A, mi a mine owner from Spain ordered burn the house of illegal miners, and when the house were burning in fire, the Virgen appeared in the flames. For this reason, the Puneños and other Catholics think that image has a special power. But, my friends, devil also has power because he was an angel, so he can do miracles for confounding to people for they do what is placed to God. Similarly, in this celebration, the fornication of Saul done stop. The people paid tribute also to indigenous God as Pachamama, the earth guru, and Hakancho, the mineral god. This is a big mistake because we, as Christians, know that worship of their god is something that Jehovah hates because he is the only god, and this festivity supposedly is Christian, and it still pay tribute to other divinities. Also, many artists as singer, dancer, actor, etc., come from different places of Peru for participating in different activities as parades, mazes, competition of music and dance, etc. In the parades, the people use gear masks that are very similar at demon's face, and there is something called diablada or baile de demonios which is a way to venerate to Candelaria because it helps to some trade 
miners in a mine that offer their souls to it for save themselves. So, I don't hope that you believe me. I just say that if you want to know the truth, study the Bible because in this you will find all answers are your question and you will know because idolatry is opposite to our God's will. Thank you.